Hello and welcome to Simple Silicon. I'm your host, Dan, for today. Behind me, we have four laptops. We have the Ryzen 5 Pro 2500U, the Ryzen 7 Pro 2700U, the Ryzen 5 Pro 3500U, and now the Ryzen 7 4700U CPUs. Uh, and they all either have a uh, four core, eight thread, or straight up eight core and we're going to pit them all against each other to see which ones work the best. The laptop we're going to be looking today is the HP ProBook 445G7. This is the latest uh, in their lineup. It features the new Ryzen 4000 series processor, specifically the 4700U CPU. This is an eight core, eight thread processor, and this is also the lowest end graphics on board in the entire lineup. Uh, and that is because this particular configuration is set up to only share 512 megs of RAM with the GPU so you're only getting like I said 512 megs of video memory and we're going to see that play out later on. Taking a look at the overall build quality of this product um, we can test different things like the amount of flex in the screen or the deck flex and it's all fairly straightforward there's not too much to complain about there. The trackpad seems fairly usable. Uh, the buttons are inlaid on the bottom of the trackpad as opposed to the top of the trackpad. So if what you're used to is having separate buttons to click at the top, that might be part of Mac. It might take some time getting used to, uh, whereas the clicks are at the bottom. The typing experience is fairly good. I noticed there's a very nice tactile uh, bump whenever you press a key uh, and uh, the actual distance that you have to press uh, is fairly short. Now I have fairly big hands and when I'm typing I'm just going along with hey, hi, how are you today? It doesn't seem to wear out my fingers at all. Uh, as for the layout, um, you have a standard laptop layout with the arrow keys split like this. Um, there is an insert button, which isn't common to all the laptops in the HP lineup. Uh, so it's nice to see that. Um, as for IO, you have a Kingsington lock, a USB type A port, an SD uh, card reader on the other side. We have two more uh, USB port type A's. They are super speed uh, with HDMI uh, and an ethernet jack, which is nice, as well as a uh, USB super, uh, a USB type C super speed and your power uh, with a headphone jack, which is nice to see. The back side of the laptop is kind of plain. Uh, front side, there's no IO here. Uh, on the back side, we have our vents, uh, as long as our Windows verification logo. Uh, overall, it is a fairly nice looking laptop. We have a bit of silver accent along the um, trackpad here, which is a flourish if you're into that. Uh, we have a sound bar up here, the same sound as all the other laptops. We can test that in a moment. Um, power button up here. It's a ProBook line, so you have a webcam which we can test it has a physical thing that you can slide off as well as IR features uh, we'll see if that works with Windows Hello um, overall it's a very nice design your display is a matte uh, finish so it's not glossy so if you're into gloss that's not on this laptop yeah you might be able to special order that order that when you're ordering it at the factory but as for the screen resolution, we're looking at a 1080p uh, display for that. Now, since you're right here looking at the screen, I'll just go through. We are a Ryzen 7 4000U with Radon graphics. It does not say what specific graphics it is, other than to mention that we are using, if I can scroll down, uh, 512 megs of dedicated GPU memory. So not a lot which is actually the lowest uh performing gpu by 
uh, memory available to it alone from the lineup that I have. Most of them at least have one gig. This one looks like it just has 512. Shared memory, all 7.7 uh, .7 gigabytes uh, for the GPU. Uh, our configuration is coming with a 16 gig of RAM, but because it's a laptop, you're sharing some of that RAM with the GPU, so we end up with 15.4 usable. Uh, as for the uh, hard drive, uh, we are coming with an SSD, uh, and it's coming with uh, 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 500 gig hard drive. After formatting, uh, it's for 77 gigabytes, and that's of course an SSD. So we just set up Windows Hello, and we're going to see how quick it really is. Windows Hello on this laptop seems to be very fast, uh, so that's good. Let's take a look at the camera. The camera is definitely low resolution. You can see uh, what I mean right here if we point that down a little bit. You notice that uh, it really is blown out by the light. My face looks super blocky as if it's trying to do a lot of processing to it. A lot of weird smearing, I don't know uh, if that's even changing or what have you but you're not going to look good on this thing so you might want to get yourself a dedicated webcam if that is important to you otherwise you can just deal with it uh, I mean a picture is a picture right I mean in some cases so you know, if we would open word we open fairly fast okay. hi how are you it all seems fairly fine for word processing Let's play the video at 1080p. Fantex was founded back in 2007, and I remember back in my Newegg days. Uh... It's fairly fine. It looks quite smooth. If we bump it up to 4K, not that you would play a 4K video on a 1080p monitor, but uh, the playback is still very, very smooth. Uh, I'm not seeing any weird jitters or, or, or tearing of any kind. It looks perfectly fine. Let's take a look to see how this sounds. $1,500 if you can even find it for sale anywhere. So in the description I have, I think, an Asus model length that's uh, much more reasonably priced than this one and also possibly available. So speech, fairly easy to listen to. Let's try something uh, with music. Music tends to crackle at the louder volumes. Anything um, really above about 30% uh, seems to crackle quite a bit. Uh, you might want to take that into consideration if you're looking for movie watching or music listening. One thing I noticed that browsing certain website does actually take a little while. Uh, just scrolling through, loading to a new web page. Web pages load kind of chunkily. They're not the best. A lot of it is the tracking scripts, you know, especially YouTube in their search does seem to be a bit chunky, at least in uh, Edge. And I'm just testing Edge since uh, everyone has it, so you can compare. All right, we have a benchmarking suite. We're doing 3D Mark, Rocket League. Grand Theft Auto and CSGO and we're going to see how all of these perform. So let's get right started. So playing CSGO it was fairly smooth mid uh, 50s uh, low uh, 30s right around there. Moving on to Rocket League, the whole performance uh, was between 30 and 40. Um, nothing too spectacular. Uh, it's not really a game. Like I said, that uh, 512 megs of video RAM really limit you. Uh, GTA 5 uh, barely ran. It didn't even meet the minimum specs. But if you put it in the lowest settings possible, uh, you could get around uh, 80 to 60 uh, frames a second but it you know you had to really lower everything and you were playing at uh, 800 by 400 so yeah you're not really doing much uh, with that in the end of the day the 
HP ProBook 445 G7 is a fairly competent workstation-ish PC in the sense that you're doing uh, office work, you're doing some other productivity suite software, checking emails, uh, maybe you're editing video, but like not really. Um, I don't really see this because of that limited GPU performance. Uh, doing too m- anything that really needs the GPU other than just display a screen, but it does have those eight cores. So if you were rendering a Blender video uh, by tile by tile, you know you might see some good performance there. Um, if you're doing some sort of programming or code, those compile engines tend to favor those cores a bit more. So you'll find that uh, that will benefit you more than that uh, GPU will. So kind of think of anything that needs eight cores and not uh, four core eight threads, but actually eight real cores uh, with eight threads, then you're going to find that you're going to have a good day with this. Some other people in my office have used it. They said it felt pretty snappy to go around the operating system and stuff. Uh, I found that uh, just using it to do office stuff, do support tickets, checking the emails, uh, looking up support videos uh, when you need to troubleshoot something, it, it's fine for that. Um, and if you're doing conferencing calls, the webcam isn't perfect, but it's something. I personally would prefer to get a, another webcam. But Windows Hello works, and it logs you right in. I would say that uh, it is a pretty good laptop. In fact, uh, I would probably order a bunch more for uh, the people I'm in charge of at the office. Uh, I got a lot of users who need upgrades, and this would be a pretty good bet. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, Have a great day, and uh, see you then. Bye.